welcome to episode 106 of Trusty Hogs. I'm Catherine Bohart. I'm Ellen Bauer. And we have had a morning. But we'll get into that in a moment. First, we need to tell you that Trusty Hogs is a podcast where I don't blow your nose mid intro. You can't. Are you joking? I'm sorry. Sometimes, sometimes when I've had the morning I've had. Oh my God. Oh, pause. Please, I, feel... I beg you to just hold on a second. Okay. Uh, this is the podcast where we tell you about our perfect lives, except for when Helen's had to do anything. And oh. then we help you solve your own problems because you write them into us and we're absolutely here for your advice. Today, we have an incredible, quite famous comedian, Lolly Adafope on. I love Lolly Adafope. Very exciting. Um, but for now, Helen Bauer, I know you're desperate to tell me you've had a bad day. Through the fog, step forth the trusty hogs. Yeah. And they will solve them Or maybe they won't And that's your problem They'll have guests And Andrew White on the tech Oh, it's Helen and Catherine As the trusty hogs Trust the trusty hogs Or maybe not It all starts in Ireland Sweet Jesus As every bad story does Fuck you As every bad story (laughs) Have you ever heard a story of someone like well, she was born in Ireland, and it's like, well, that's going to turn out good. <sighs> it's awful, Catherine. Yeah. Air lingus, don't want me to be happy. Everything was delayed. It was all a disaster. I wanted to go to bed last night so I could get at least five hours sleep. And instead, my friend Fifi was like, ah, you'll have another one. Ah, you'll have another one. Ah, 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 ah. You'll have another one. You'll have another one. So then, was, and then. Is she a crow? Or? She's from Cork. You couldn't tell that from what you No, did. I think that was close you, enough. Not even a little bit. Okay. Ah, you'll have another one, Helen. Ah, you'll have another one. You, you're thirsty is, there, is I can see. Is she a pirate? Close. She works in a chocolate shop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and she, but I was trying to down Guinness. This is nothing to do with why I was two hours late today. Oh, right. This just happens to start with you downing Guinness with an Irish woman, but it's definitely all Aer Lingus' fault. Yeah, well. yeah. It was mm-hmm. awful. And then the lays at East Croydon station, terrible stuff. Uh-huh. And then the bus route. Um, but what I always like when things go against you is that you deal with them with such composure, such dignity, such grace. You don't send 74 text messages. You don't. <laughs> How many do you think I sent to the. Cry. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even come in and screaming. You were nothing but serenity and grace. I did have a nice cry, actually. Oh. You have to. You must. But you're here now, Helen, and that's the main thing. Are you glad? How Was that was anything good about Ireland? How about you tell me that? I feel like I should live in a bin. Okay. Um. Again... I feel disgusting. I tried to right. shower this morning in the hotel, but apparently they don't have hot water in Dublin. They do. Well, I don't think they do. We just don't give it to English people. Because I turned it on. Was oh, there, yeah. They were fucking... Yeah. Was there I, anything good about Ireland? Yeah, I kept mentioning the famine on stage. It was like a tick. Like oh, I, I could not see that for you. Not. Yeah. And it was so much fun. Like, obviously, they were like over the moon if I got charged higher for things for reparations. And they'd all like clap. And, like, <laughs> and um, I did the accent a lot more I than I should have done. I mean, yeah. I know you supposed yeah, to do yeah. it full stop no I certainly and know like, you can't just, yeah. I just felt judgment in some place like everyone all the hogs were lovely I got to cork and I was like because you know like I had my first spice bag the which for anyone who's new to here it's like describe a spice bag it's like okay a spice bag in Ireland is basically an assortment of the day's meats that they have going spare chips this is at your Chinese takeaway whacked into a bag mm. they whack in the sauce or spice of the day they shake it all up usually it's got stuff like chicken balls or just like pork or chips and they just give that a big old shake up and then they um sort of throw it at you and that is an Irish delicacy and it's so life changingly amazing so yeah. I had my first one was it last year in Tullamore yeah. and then I got to Cork and I was like gagging for one because like Belfast like I had like lunch but there was nowhere open late at night and I'd like had drinks with like Jen Brister it's and, like, really it was just, hard like, to get late night food in Belfast in my honestly, opinion honestly that city experience. is fucked they need to sort that no, out it's not no it no, is that late night but I do think they could have more late night food options and everyone in Belfast being like well the Titanic was fine when it left here ha 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 and it's like I didn't have enough lifeboats you fucking idiot it's like you did you say insane. that 
No, I try not uh, to get into too many fights when I'm up there. Try not to get political. They're angry. <laughs> yeah. All right, go on. Yeah, they said like something like the percentages. Like if I sang um, an IRA song, would be like Sweet so. Sweet Jesus, so I didn't, you shouldn't. I didn't, so I didn't. Okay, thank God. Oh, but it was yeah. just you know when you're trying to figure out. Like, I was like, there aren't enough like... lifeboats for that either, <laughs> my love. Um, okay, so you get your spice bag in Dublin. No, this is the problem. Pork. I couldn't find any like Chinese um, restaurants or like fish and chip shops or whatever. If they don't come from fish and chips, they come from Chinese takeaways. Okay, well I couldn't see any, so then I went to a spa in court right and they had one there on like the deli counter no way and it, but apparently i've been there since like midday or something but i was like oh that's i've got a strong stomach that's absolutely fine and then like when i got back to Hang the venue on, i'm sick of this every time you go somewhere abroad you get a horrible horrible stomach or intestinal issue and then you're like why does this happen to me and it's but like I well was... because you keep buying day old spice bags from deli counters it and saying a day like... old it was about seven hours old right okay and it had been sitting there at a deli counter and it didn't taste exactly the same as I remember it, but I thought it, it was wouldn't. really good. But then because I ate it inside the venue room and it's quite a small venue, the venue then smelt like that. <laughs> and I was on stage like digesting. Hang on, is this at Coughlin's? In, in, yeah. It's the smallest <laughs> venue. Where the fuck would you eat a spice it's bag a in there? It's 60-seater. <laughs> it's not even. It's like a 50-seater. Why would you eat a spice bag in that tiny thatched pub room? Because I got confused. It was just like a really long day. I went straight to the venue because like... Is it thatched? I just remembered it's small. It's it's not thatched, but it does have that like um, we're one of the fiddly diddly dee ones in the south sort of pub vibe, you know, like you know, hello and um, hey hey and um, <laughs> they, but it was it was charming. The gig was nice. In fact, yeah. both gigs there were nice. I went on a boat because um, apparently there were Why dolphins inside of Cork. Like no dolphins way. swam up the is it what, what's the river in Cork? Not the Lee. Lee. The Lee. Did there you we see go. them? No. I was very upset. But you went. You looked cool on the boat. I saw I your went, story. I went on boaty. I went to the Cork Butter Museum. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Nice. Any good? The most charming museum I've ever been to. Didn't it's Neil used to do a set about the Butter Museum? Exactly why I went. I was like, I have to... Like, you know when you're like... Someone doesn't like a set about something and you're like, okay, but it's not going to be like that exactly. It is. It is exactly <laughs> what he says. This is a comedian called Neil O'Rourke. If you saw me in the last two dates in Ireland, you would have seen Neil. He's fucking yeah. incredible. He um, he took me there. It's literally the history of butter uh -huh. from the cork perspective. <laughs> yeah. You know, my and grandfather was a creamery farmer. Of course he was. But according to this video, everyone works in dairy. <laughs> right. They had an old American man do the video for the cork butter creamery. Everyone works in dairy. There was this old what? man. Is he from Delaware? There was. No, cork. No, Kerry. Kerry. That's close enough, isn't it? No, not even a little. <gasps> but come here to me. So you're at the butter factory and... Did you get um, any butter? Not a factory. No, they don't do any samples. Museum, my there was a... Like a making session in midday, but we missed it. That's on me. But, but, um, it's so emotional because at the end of the video, they're, they're interviewing this like man and he must be like in his like late 70s, early 80s and he's all red in the face and he's just so proud and you can tell he's like going to say something he's so proud of and he was like, sort of looks at like the barrel of the lens and goes, when I started at Kerry Gold, we were in four countries. Now I'm retiring and we're in 83. We broke China. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the video fades to black. <laughs> and I genuinely felt me. I actually really want to see that. <laughs> I was like, I don't have anything. I don't you even broke, have... you got into China. We broke China. Because it's like they were in England really quickly. They did really well in Germany. But like. Did, you made it sound like they broke China like. Like they ruined China as opposed to like they broke the into the industry. I assume he said it was more excitement than... Threat. Sure, we're filling up pallets of Kerrygold to go to Beijing every Sunday. Like it's that sort of a thing. Right. But they're so, he's so like... I. It's so rare that you see someone that did everything they wanted to do in life oh. and is able to like sit down, be interviewed about it and just sort of say, and I did it. Like, my dream was for people all over the world to eat Kerrygold. It's the best butter in the and world. It's so, it is it's good. It's the best <laughs> butter in the fucking world. It it's is because it's, um, it's more yellow than pale. That's because of the quality of the grass that the yeah, cows eat. Really? Um, that sort of uh, colour it. So it's, it's not that so pale colour like the delicious. fucking French have. It's delicious. It's salty. It's creamy. It's heaven. <laughs> oh, God. 
It really you really is need to go to the I Button Museum. I love Kerrygold so much. I it, love it so much. Okay, you have to go. It's five euro. It's only like three what rooms and the video's the main thing. Oh, yeah, I paid for Neil as well. Did I, I ever tell you that I worked in the only cinema that was left in Europe? Question mark in Dublin. It was certainly the last one in Ireland that had the health and safety permissions to serve hot butter on popcorn. <gasps> it was the greatest job of my life. Wait, like, greatest honour and privilege, actually. So you would order your popcorn and then I would go to a vat of melted hot butter. Oh my God, you've not turned me on this much in a while. And I would often double the box so you wouldn't get that drip. Shut your whole mouth. And then if I liked you, I wouldn't just give you one ladle. I'd even maybe half fill the bucket, then put butter in the centre and then refill it. And then I would pour melted butter all over the popcorn such as the experience of eating it made you genuinely like finger deep in grease, but was <laughs> exquisite. You'd be left with a sort of clawing, salty mouth. But until then, can you can the you just quickly was like can you like try and sell me that like I'm coming into the cinema and I don't know what it is like. Hi, what can I get you? Hi, um, just a snack. I'm going to watch Gladiator. It's the year two thousand. Would you like popcorn or nachos? I'd or like a hot dog. Ooh, we oh. sell all of them here. Um, what sort of popcorn do you do? Well, I can get you salty or sweet, or if you'd like, I could pour hot melted butter <sighs> over your salted popcorn. And then it can be warm okay. and, I guess, a greasy, but <laughs> salty. And I just private, had a vision. because the cinema's in the dark. <gasps> could you... Would could you, you like mix that? some peanut butter into it, please? We don't have that. But you could put M&M peanuts through and they'd melt in the butter. <laughs> Would that be nice? Would you like that? Here comes the second cry of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I do think I want that. Yeah, I'll make it for you when you come to my house sometime. Because I'm not a massive popcorn person, but then I remember seeing... I make it all the time with salted butter. <sighs> I'll make you... S oh my God, it's divine. I'll make it for you. We've got a sleepover next week. Do we? Yeah. Great. Do you remember? Yes. I'm sleeping over yours. Wonderful. On the 31st. Oh, for fuck's oh, sake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do, Um, there's like a way that people do um popcorn where they do that, like you melt chocolate with butter and then you stir the popcorn into it and then you cover it with coconut, like desiccated coconut. And it's like a chocolate macaroon Fuck, that treat. that's amazing. And it's like really like light that and it's just like immense. Moorish. And I'm like, oh my so God. So you're staying at mine on the 31st, is it? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Would have the 31st would have already happened by the time this goes out? Because we're recording this a week in advance. It's after the Outside is Awful gig. How was your sleepover with me? <laughs> <laughs> Greasier than I anticipated. <laughs> you kept falling off the blow-up bed. <laughs> oh, we're not sharing a bed? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, no, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, no way, I would never. Do you share beds with your friends? Yes. I only have, a, like, a normal double. We can't be in there I together. I can fit in a normal... <laughs> what the fuck do you think I am? No, not you. I'm not mean Brendan like... Fraser and no. the Whale. <laughs> I mean, I'm, like, like I'm mobile. Jesus Christ. Helen, I didn't mean like that. I mean, like, I don't want to share... I've only got a normal bed. <laughs> that feels... <laughs> Very sizes. <laughs> I meant standard double. No, I don't want to be in a, in a that bed with a partner. I mean, like, we'd have to touch if we're in that. Yes! I don't want that. Friends that touch. That wasn't sizes. Is that was, have you met me? I don't want to touch I you. I won't do anything. I'm frigid as fuck. I don't, but you'll smell of butter. I just, oh yeah. But wouldn't that just be like... I'm gonna like, make here you, comes, here comes Big Helen with a butter make, smell. No, I'm going to make you a lovely bed up in the spare room that you can get as buttery as you like. Oh. I genu I genuinely thought we were having like I don't even share a bed with my sister. Like lights off and we keep what? Yeah, I just think beds are for private time, sort of like as Me with and all France things in my life, beds are for business. Mexico <laughs> accommodation specifically to share beds and places. On purpose. When yeah. you when you could have not shared beds. Yeah, we were like, let's get a double bed instead of a twin bed, because it's like there's more space in the room that way, and then we both get to share. That's hell to me. I want a king size bed for Ellen and I, and she wa she wants a standard double because she likes to be close to me, and no, I no. hate it. Okay, I'm with the king. I've got a king size bed just for me. Yeah, but okay, because apparently I need it. 
No, you can't. We could share that, but I don't want to touch. It's something to do with your size. I don't want to hear you mouth breathing. I don't want you to touch me with your feet. I don't I'm want allowed the... to I'm allowed to breathe, Catherine. I want you to breathe, but I don't want you to breathe like as I try to sleep, is all I'm saying. That's fair. I genuinely I think I just had a different image in my head of what this was gonna be. But it's fine. You thought we'd have full no, no, sex. No, it's fine. I, on, I didn't think we'd be having full... I once actually, <laughs> when I was like 21, I was sharing um, a bed with my friend, um, Jacob Beswick. And he, he clearly thought I was his boyfriend. Like he clearly like like woke half woke up in the night and thought I was his boyfriend. Okay. And he turned over and like went to go for my pants. <gasps> and I was like still awake and I felt him going and I like clamped my legs together. <laughs> like, <"Vroom!" laughs> and he did an impression of it for years. It just like, did not get in bed with Helen. If you get even close. Vroom! See, I think... No! No! <laughs> I think I'm much less likely to do that and more likely to, like, just sleep on the very, 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 very edge and be really stressed and not be able to sleep the whole time. Okay, I get... I know I'm I'm not going to force my way into your bed because of consent and stuff. It's genuinely Progress. chill. It's genuinely so chill. Fr- okay, sure? Mm-hmm. You seem insulted. I think I'm, like, a little bit, like... I want the butter. I want... I don't know what I want right now. I, I want... Erlingus I think it's on me I think it's because I said normal double bed and I meant standard and so I'm sorry for that I just want you to know I can fit in okay I know you can fit in a but standard bed okay well not standard standard like no, I will you be can off fit the in bottom a standard. no like on like a standard cruise bed because you're very tall aren't you because you're very tall but you yeah. fit in my Ikea standard I mean I'd hope so you have when you've lain there while I've done my makeup Oh yeah, you get so upset. I do hate it when I've just made it. Anyway, um, should we bring on our guest? I think it's probably for the best because I feel like I might cry again. No, uh, okay, you can't say that on the podcast. Everyone's gonna be mess- reviewing okay. saying I'm a bully. Oh no, no, not because of Catherine, because of my womb. What's wrong with your womb? Oh, we don't have time. Please welcome to the podcast, <laughs> Lolly Adafoka. It's me, Catherine Bohart, and I've been writing a new show and I'm taking it on tour. The show is called Again With Feelings, and I think it's my best one. I'm going on tour very soon, and I'm going to the following venues if you want to come see me. I'm going to Soho Theatre. I'm going to Brighton, Aldershot, Edinburgh, Glasgow, York, Newcastle, Nottingham, Norwich, Winchester, Cambridge, Oxford, Bath, Birmingham, Manchester, Leeds, Liverpool, Sheffield, Exeter, Corsham, Bristol, Coventry, Guildford, Portsmouth, Swindon, Dublin, and then again to London. Now, look, I know you're probably thinking, but Catherine, I don't live in any of those places. Well, first of all... I'm traveling, so I think you could try. But also, I will. Um, I'm doing my best. I'll try. I hope you. I hope you live near one of those. And if not, um, let me know, and I'll try to um see what I can do. But gosh, I hope you can come again with feelings. Tickets are at katherinebohart.com, and I'd love to see you there. Oh, and also, if you have um a sort of queer with ambiguous interests, why not buy them a ticket for Christmas? Don't know what to get them. I'm better than soap. Well, I'm a better than soap. Huge claim, actually. I'm a gift idea, along with soap. What's up? I'm still on tour. I'm coming to Cork, Dublin, York, Leeds, Nottingham. No, Leeds are sold out. Forget it. Leicester, Bristol, which has got like five left. Reading, Berlin, Birmingham, Guildford, Aldershot, Norwich, Newcastle, Edinburgh, Glasgow. Fuck, this is so much travel. Cambridge, Manchester and Maidenhead. Oh, man. That's going to be... Please come. <laughs> Please come, because some of those are like when it's really cold and dark out and I'll be sad. Bring gifts. Thank you. Bye. All oh, right. look. What? Helen, we're recording. Are we? Wow. <laughs> Whose hair did you just pull out of your teeth? That's mine. Oh, but God. that is incredible. That was yeah. grim as hell. Are the we... length of that really nice. was did it come from your boobs or from your head? Yeah, but at first I was like, oh, look, her nipple hair. But then obviously realised because there was no feeling Do you think it is pull. a head hair? There was no think... feeling. That's a head hair. But there could have been sure? pulled later on. Yeah, it could have been a pube. That's not, no. It pulled much later if it was that long. Mm, good point. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say this. It's not not pube because of the length because obviously we all go through the phases <laughs> of things. You know when you're like. It's winter. Not growing up. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know when you're like, I want to see how long it will get. Like, do you go through those phases with different hairs on your body? Like, my favourite is to see how long I can get the hairs on the back of my thighs. Because they're like such... Oh, you're obsessed with this? Yeah. Because it's such a weird... It's like in between pube texture and leg hair texture. 
Yeah. There's a wiriness, but it hasn't committed to pubes. Yeah, it's like a science experiment. Yeah, whereas nipple hairs are generally a lot shorter, but this is, what a treat. Um, I'll pop that on the floor for later. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Thank Have you we started recording? In. Oh, good. I'm so glad that that's the first thing we've said to Lolly and about this. Yay! Hello. Lolly, we have to talk about it. You're wearing a power suit. You look phenomenal. It's like you know who our audience was and you were like, mm, what would the lesbians want to see? Did that is, does anyone want some pinstripe? And the answer is yes. Yes, we do. Thank you so much for arriving in it. Thank you. Wow. Me. You wow. know what makes me think of? Mm. Al Capone. And that is a compliment. Wow. Oh, that that's so funny. It's yeah. got the, like, I think it's because it's reminding me of a, my year eight school play, Big Al, the musical yeah, about yeah. Capone's it's life. Kind of when does a compliment own. start? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's it. Like, the original sort of, like, gangster. Yeah, yeah. But it's definitely got a, like, you should have a cigar sort of a vibe. Yeah, and a yeah. hat. And, like, fire oh accountant. My God. And then go yeah. to Alcatraz. Wow, this is inspiring. Favourite yeah. prison to go to? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> local, nice and local. South London. <laughs> Keep it south. And you'll know you'll be able to get out again, which is nice. You just want to go um, somewhere that your family can visit. Easy for your exactly. friends. Easy for your friends. Exactly. I wouldn't mind doing like a couple of weeks in Rikers, you know, in America. Sure, just to say that you've done it. Yeah, I think it's like because you see it on TV all the time, mm. and it's like obviously you're gutted you're going to prison full stop. Yeah. But like, why not also be the same place where you're like, oh my God, is this where Anna Sorokin was from yes. Inventing Anna? Sure. Like, did they film here? Yeah. Am yeah. I on set? Like, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. It's sort of like prison it. slash universal like movie tours in mm -hmm. Orlando. While the conditions seem worse in the States, it also seems more likely somebody will make an expose about that bad treatment. Yes. Whereas the treatment's awful in Britain, but no one's gonna, no one cares. Have yeah. you seen that show? God, I, sorry, that wasn't really very fun. That was quite dark and upsetting. <laughs> there's room for both. Hey, there? listen, yeah, we got in so early and I'm like, oh no. A, <laughs> oh no. No, when you're like just browsing Netflix and you're like, oh, I'll give this a go. And it's called World's Toughest Prisons. And I was yes. like, no, okay. Exactly. Well, I was like, oh, oh my I'm God, quite really? into these sort of documentaries. Sure. So I'll give it a go. And it's an, um, an English guy and it starts being like, I'll be going to the toughest prisons all over the world. And there's like three seasons of it. And it's like different like cities, different countries. And you're like, oh, okay. So we'll just see what the prison is system's it like Tim? there. No. Okay. But like, <laughs> is it that vibe? Yeah, a hundred percent. And then he's like, um, do the interview. Like, we're going to be going in there and meeting the inmates and seeing what life is really like. And this isn't my first time inside. My <gasps> name is blah, blah. I can't remember it now. I was wrongfully convicted of murder no. and I spent nine years in jail in the wow. UK. And it's like, what the f Fuck! But he was like a BBC journalist, got wrongfully convicted or something. No, he was, he was wrongfully before. convicted. He did a journalism course in prison and then came wow. out when they like the uh, got overturned and he realized that he was innocent. And now he goes to different prisons around the world. You mean they realized he was? He knew the whole time that he. Was I think he knew. Yeah, yeah. He, he wasn't like, known. wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I was wearing what top? I don't even have a feeler top. <laughs> no, that checks out. Okay, great. I'm telling you now, I know I said you said one's worth and like, I'm not here to correct you, but you want to go to Sweden or Norway. Okay. Yeah, if you're going to want to... you don't get a choice. No, but if you did, That's I think, a good point. I think you're choose a somewhere you could upskill. Yeah. Yeah. If I do a crime in Sweden, what happens? You come out qu more qualified. Sure. I think you you get to live in open spaces. You get green. You get to but do I get engage in education. In Sweden? Oh, I should think so. I think so because, but I think maybe I the think British so. taxpayer has to pay for your prison stay, probably. Sure. Gosh. Maybe. None of us really know this, do we? No. Because you, you, you know, at Good first, to know. Good fun to conjecture. Know. Mm. The prison mm. that Bridget Jones goes to and Bridget Jones too looks fun. That looks awful in Thailand. Yeah, but they all wear wonder bras and they sing. But that's the worst part about it. You're already in prison in Thailand and now the, this is a white woman's just singing at you? Yeah, that's I'd a good point, actually. I'd be that like, can awful. I get a freaking break? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. But there might be someone out there who needs to know this information. Yeah. She's like, just can anyone tell me my weight today? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Lolly, how the hell are you? I'm good, thank you so good. much for asking. How are um, you? Great. Ghost is over. Ghost is over. Well, it's on at the moment. Of course it is. But what sure. are you doing with your life? Just watching I'm it? chilling out. Just watching it over and over again. <laughs> you know, seeing where I could have done things differently. Nice. Um, Kitty yeah. can't do anything different. She's Thank perfect. You. No, she Thank really you. is. Please. Thank you. I love her. She's um, a poppet. Will you miss her? She's so sweet. I miss her so much. Yeah. I won't miss her corset. Um, but I will miss everything else about her. Wait, um, so the outfit you. you're Thank wearing, you. is it like a gen a genuine corset? It's genuine like corset. Holy oh. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long does it take to get into? 
Well, 15 minutes. What? Everything all together. Corset, oh underskirt, petticoat, dress, Excuse me, what's the difference between a petticoat and an underskirt? Underskirt is just sort of a not particularly interesting material and it just fills it out. Mm-hmm. Oh. Petticoat is like, I mean, Structure. I could be wrong about this, but like, I think it's the thing that you see under, like the pink thing you see under her dress. Mm. Um, maybe I made that up. But there are different layers. And wow. some of them are just sort of filling out. She does look like a lovely cake. She does. A beautiful cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wait, so corset. Can you breathe in I it? I was going to say, do you have to, what do you do for lunch? You can breathe for lunch. Sometimes, well, I'll take the layers off. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes I keep the corset on. Because the corset by itself is not that bad. Okay, it's all it's the It's quite, you know, it's quite, I feel structured. I feel poised. Gorgeous. Oh, that's nice. But with everything else, it's heavy. It's heavy yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's intense. Yeah, yeah. Are people, do people have to like, Really yank it from behind. Yeah, I think in the first series we like went to the costume place and the woman was really yanking. Ouchie. Because she didn't work on the show, she was a costume woman. And seemed so. to have a personal grudge against you. Yeah, it was strange. <laughs> <laughs> and and she was kind of like, it needs my to be this tight. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, and then after a while, you, it sort of like bends to your body and it starts to like loosen up a little bit. But in Jesus. the beginning, it was it was tough. That's intense. Okay, yeah. I actually want to corset now. The idea no. of being, no, but like, I know what when you, you mean. said it was like your poise. Yeah. And like the structure, like, and then oh, I kind of want to do that. And then have you seen those like videos, people with like the smallest waists ever? Yes. Because they've worn a corset for like yeah, yeah, five yeah. Hundred, So you're on this side of YouTube as exactly. well. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toxic, yeah. 100%. So a girl, yeah. speaking of toxic, a girl in my school, Jillian O'Halloran, probably be that, be better name. <laughs> Um, now that I hear it out, I used to wear a corset under her school uniform for Slay. debating when we were debating against the boys' school. No way. We had... But wait, didn't you have like a jumper over Oh, it? I can't even stress enough how much you could not tell. Yeah. She was wearing, we had button-up, like blue and white check shirts. We had red ties. We had wow. pinafores or heavy skirts. We had cardigans or jumpers that were thick country, royal blue it? wool. Wow. We had skirts down to our ankles. What ankles. was the corset for? Yes, ankles. Because otherwise Jesus can see. Otherwise Jesus yeah, can the see. the sexiest part of the body. In yeah. what yeah. world? Oh, and, and we had knee-high socks, just in case. But did she, say, <laughs> did she say I'm wearing a corset so that, to make sure that people knew? I guess so, yeah. Because otherwise, how did I know? Yeah. But, yeah. but to the boys. And she was also like rasping for like. Yeah. <laughs> was wow. she doing That's it sexy. for confidence or was she doing it because mm. she thought maybe they would tell? And Discipline. Then, like, it's so time. fascinating that you think I would have asked those questions at 15 and instead I was just like, I wonder if I... I should get a corset <laughs> um, and that would be my lunch time being like but it was like a, tr- a fashion corset a trendy corset it was like a satin purple corset wow. underneath the uniform yeah Okay, that's yeah. actually kind of a slave. Yeah. yeah I guess I guess and then she'd be like debating whether they should have abortion or not in a, like, oh, a purple corset oh we did corset. not speak that word in Ireland how oh. dare you good lord how d- what in the education system <laughs> Ankle length skirts. I went to school in a convent. What were you discussing? Whether women should have the right to vote revoked. <laughs> <laughs> Unanimous no. We literally just had divorce legalized, so we did a lot of that. Um, sure. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah, that is fun. I'm old. Hey, um, so Wait, when was divorce? 96 in Ireland? Could we double check that? 96? Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. So Charles and Diana, that wouldn't have even happened. Well, for the bigger issue would be the royalty, but yeah, sure. Bang sure. on, 1996. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> Someone did debate. Isn't that wild? Wait, what was your school thing? What was your? Were you like a drama kid or were you a debate kid? I Sports. was... Uh, I suppose I was a drama kid, but we didn't really have a drama <gasps> You were just... Present. Event, you are just creating it on your <laughs> yeah, own. Yeah, yeah. I was a toxic oh, child. Okay. So not actually the drama group, just running around being like, I know you're a fucking bitch. Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> she said you're a fucking bitch. Um, I th- yeah, probably closest to a... a Class clown, I suppose. Nice. Um, I had a wonderful drama teacher called um, Miss Hennessy. Shout out, Miss Hennessy. Is she Hennessey. Irish? She was not Irish, no. Thank no. God. Um, but she, um, while everyone else was doing Duke of Edinburgh, she was like, do you want to do this thing called Arts Award? Which is basically like the drama version of Duke of Edinburgh. Oh my and God. And I was like, well, you, you see me. Was yeah. it just you and Miss Hennessy? I don't think anyone else did it. <laughs> oh, that's so I think she sweet. probably offered it to other people. But then it was sort of like a Miss Honey 
I'm going to tell the situation. That's like, so I think you should probably do the arts award. You're not going to want to do all that walking. Come <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah. Come you, on. How do you get an arts award? The you, there's like different things you can do. I wrote a play. Um, oh, whoa. Age 17. She's no, a wait, prodigy. Wait, wait, wait. She's a prodigy. What's it called? What's it no, called? What's they the always theme? always write the can darkest thing. Can we guess the thing? It's going to be theme? bulimia, anorexia, suicide, death. It's going to be like every teenager. For Jesus. <laughs> divorce could be, could be childhood no, divorce. No, it won't be childhood It's going to be darker than childhood divorce. I think you're giving me too much credit. I think uh, it was, look. Oh my God. The setting of the play was I was in a, a paddling pool on a stage. <laughs> oh, um, she's much more, that's very no, interesting. Kind of abstract. Abstract. But what does it represent? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Grief. Um, and my father was played by one of my best friends, Claudia. Shout out to Claudia. <laughs> Shout out to um, Claudia. She's 17 as well at the time. She's 17 as well at brilliant. the time. Absolutely she's wearing a waistcoat well. that I brought in from home. Fabulous, <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> and she's, I'm, I'm unclear as to whether she was my dad or my adoptive dad. Here we go. Here but we I was go. sort of, you know, a rebellious teen and she was my dad and sort of trying well, to- Well, I guess we can figure this out. How much did she look like you? Well, she's white. <laughs> okay, so adoptive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I can't remember if that was in the script or not. <laughs> Maybe it was a colour blind casting. Oh, like casting. <laughs> <color blind casting. laughs> <laughs> so, like, we're looking for any race, any gender. Um, <laughs> this, was a, this was like a waiting for Godot style two parter. It was a two parter. Well, it was a two parter, but um, there were two chorus members. Oh, Lolly! <laughs> <laughs> who I think Wait. were two girls, lovely girls, Leanne and Annie. Hi, um, Leanne and Annie. Because there was this song uh. that we used to sing that was like. In the play? Was well, it like in musical? school we used to sort of oh. sing this like. It wasn't like a nursery rhyme. It was it was just a really sort of haunting song that you sing around. And you know, like when you're like 16, you're like, that song's so good. I need to like put that in something. Um, <laughs> okay. And so then I put it in the play. Well, like Fair and Shaka, so yeah, but that's just what like. I was thinking. <laughs> it's. I don't know what. I think it's like just like a song it's like not linked to any country or but it's like a nursery rhyme and you were all like that slumps it's it's like higher than a nursery rhyme in terms of like respect levels for the song okay i got you but it's it's so, i mean i'm not gonna sing it share or something please sing it <laughs> i actually can't i physically can't okay 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 i feel like you're very um and we are taking a little segue out of the play but we'll be returning to the paddling pool sure. <laughs> but i will say that you're a little gatekeeper with the song and can I also say that that's a trend with you, Lolly Adafobe? Because actually, I went to watch Lolly. Yeah? Watch. Apparently, you're supposed to dance. But I went to watch Lolly DJ. Thank you. I would not dance. I would only watch. Yes. <laughs> and can I say, I didn't know any of the songs. Okay. That's not oh, gatekeeping. No. Hang on. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> that was gatekeeping of a good time. And I felt old. Sure. And I felt like, where, why don't they have any lyrics? Okay. And so I think the least you could do to circle back, Catherine, you're getting into your angry is space. Me. <laughs> Catherine, no, I'm loving this. Really quickly, you've left your window of tolerance, therapy speak. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's important to remember that the hand is raised. If anyone watching on YouTube, just like let's bring it I down and let's like enter our green space and leave the head for a little minute, okay? Catherine, I hear you. I um, appreciate you. Um, coming to me with this. Thank you. Um, I would like to correct you. Um, oh. <laughs> I didn't gatekeep. In fact, the playlist for my DJ set is available on Spotify. Um, there was free uh, reading. Nobody told me I could have done the no, reading. No, it was put after, it's to be after. fair. It was after. But no, I, I would actually say that a lot of the songs... I would have studied. You your moment, Catherine. Let's let Lily finish I would say that actually a lot of the songs were quite old songs. So I'm interested that you found that you felt old because a lot of the a lot of the crowd were quite Gen Z and I think they were kind of like, what well, is that's this? that's why I felt old, isn't it, Lolly? Yes, that's why you felt old. And, but I can't control that. I really <laughs> can't what, control that. What sort of songs were, were being played here? Is this the first time or the second time? Oh, the second time. I don't know. The most recent Don't you remember one. me being there watching? Wasn't that central yes. for you? <laughs> but I, can't, I thought you I were there at the first one. I was there for 25 minutes and then I had to go home because I was tired. <laughs> that was the second one, that was the second one. Um, well, I'm playing, you know. Um, Crazy Frog by Eric Sommer. Come on, Lolly, you know that some of those were cool and I couldn't have known them. They had lyrics though. It's an indie oh, night. Oh God. Was it? Yeah, I although I, I strayed from the theme, but mm. it, uh, it's originally an indie night. Um, I played, you know, I, I played um, Fontaine's DC. I don't know. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. There wasn't a single bewitched. No, but I, I'm not go. I'm not touching that. I guess it would be appropriate. If, I get it. I get it. <laughs> You're not Claudia, am I right? Thank back you. Back to Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So quickly back to Fanpool. I'm just. I. I want to hear more about it mainly because I'm worried that like 
miss yeah i'm just i just feel like okay. this is like like was all like the other teachers were like we need to do something with Lolly. Like she's clearly got an amazing creative outlook <laughs> in life. She keeps singing sea shanties. Yeah. Sea shanty, exactly. Wasn't it sea shanty? It, it wasn't, but it's that vibe. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, yeah. Were you doing but, cups, but cups and um, hands? So, sort of, yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah there's right. definitely hands. So two chorus members would come on after the sort of the scene um, and we would all Just sing. Just call them Leanne and Annie. You don't need Leanne. to be going at the chorus. Well, with my <laughs> professional hat on, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Chorus one and chorus two would come on and we would sing. <laughs> <laughs> um, as a four, we would sing this song in a round and it was very haunting and very spiritual. Mm. Um, and that was that was the play. Um, any audience members? Mm. Oh, yeah. No, Big sorry, time. Catherine. Just, just, Miss yeah. Hennessy was there. Yeah, Miss, no, we did, it, we did it for um for the school. I think. No, you didn't. No. I think so, yeah. We definitely did it in the main hall on the Listen, stage. Listen, I don't want to presume anything. Mm. Oh, you were both. But if I were to guess. Oh, dear. All girls school? What do you mean? Was yeah, it? Yeah, 100%. of course it was an all girls school. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. So the it's coolest it's, it's, it's of all It's an all girls school. It's not like, this is lame. This is kind of like a cool thing to I be doing. I didn't go to an all girls school. I'm exactly. Oh, okay. That's why you're shocked. Helen, weirdly at all girls schools, genuinely, people would want to be the girls in the talent show. Oh, 100%. Like, this isn't a talent show. There's no talent show. No, no, no. no, no but like there, was the, talent, it was like, there was talent involved. Whoa, everyone's looking at her. You yeah. And your three friends singing She's around a star. in the paddling pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you got an award for that at the end of it. Arts Award, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else did you have to do? Write a play and? Write a play. I think probably like write some sort of paragraph about the play and my mm. process of writing the play. Oh mm. yeah. Did um, you have a still image in it? What is your process? Um, what was your process? Oh, my God. process. Sorry. You know, listening to a lot of music, um, getting out there into nature, <laughs> um, <laughs> getting out, getting in there into the paddling pool. Uh huh. Um, uh -huh. Getting out into nature, but not the Duke of Edinburgh award. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Getting out into nature and then getting straight back into my room <laughs> and, and, and writing things down. Um, and yeah, no regrets. I mean, thank you to Miss Hennessy because here I am on Trusty Hogs. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> With but chorus one and chorus two. We're back, baby. So this is like <laughs> first year of sixth form college. Yes. Yeah. Incredible. Mm. Thank you. Thank and what you so was much. GCSE drama like for you? GCSE drama was wonderful. It was it, my favorite time of life. Yeah, yeah, it was. Did you do Blue Remember Hills? Yes. Oh, Wait, my are you gosh. the same age? 33. 32? Yeah, 33. Yeah. yeah. Fucking. Yeah. Perfect. Wow. Yeah. It's, Same, um, yeah. <laughs> How old are you, darling? What's the Irish version of it? I actually skipped the year where you do most drama in school, fourth year, and, be and which I'm fine with because my school of Irish girls was doing The King and I. So. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, let that one slide. Yikes. Let that one go. So, wow. Mm -mm. So I just sort of tottered on uh, past that. Mm -hmm. Is Blue Remember I was Tales debating. the one where they all, like, spoiler alert, if anyone's uh, mm. currently reading it for fun, <laughs> they all um, die in a barn at the end of the They all die fire. in the barn fire And it's like famously end. adults playing children. Yes. And they've got West, West Country, Country accents. <laughs> yeah. We got 100% of this. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a play? Yeah. It's really upsetting. Yeah. It's a play, yeah. It's about Gosh. like little kids. And it's kind of like a Lord of the Flies ish vibe, I suppose. Yeah. They're kind of playing with fire and But in like Goodness. Somerset. Yeah. And, and is that the upsetting bit of the, the, the accent? In the, room, obviously. Uh, the accent's <laughs> the upsetting part or the. Well, the accent's the upsetting. Well, do you know what? I still find it fascinating that like what media was I consuming at the time that meant that I could do a West Country accent? I have no idea. And yet I just could do one. Are you from the West Country? Wow, that's no. such a, like, a gorgeous, like, subtle brag. No, yeah, but at what 15. Was I it's so weird because I we haven't even been exposed to that. And I was just like amazing <laughs> at no, it. No, it makes sense. It work. must have been like, there must have been like a, t a kids TV show. Yeah, yeah. We were, we Rather were than during... like Scottish or, you mm. know, it's quite specific. How's your Scottish accent? Mm. <laughs> um, so I find it easiest to get into it thinking of the way of the warrior from Raven. Oh yes, and what does he he says sort of so like? Um, are you ready to face the warrior? Are you ready to face the warrior? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah nice. Both <laughs> equally fine, I'd say. Solid stuff. Give us a run, <laughs> and we'll get. Yeah, we'll no, get I loved it. it. <laughs> Miss Hennessy would be. We follow each so other on Instagram. She's, she's, she's really? really? Yeah. Oh my god, that's so cute. I'm <laughs> friends with my um, college drama teacher on Facebook. That's really nice. Yeah. Isn't that she is your really mom? Nice. <laughs> no, my mom ran a different drama school. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> the Anne Bauer School of Drama. Oh, really? Yeah. From their living room. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's I've spoken really about cool. this so many times on this, but I remember an illegal drama school from the ages of six to 18. That is amazing. From our living room, and I was in it three yeah. nights a week. That's a film, you need to turn that into a film. <laughs> I actually yeah. do genuinely agree. <laughs> I really do agree. Yeah. What's um, the opposite of Sunshine, Little Miss? Um... 
moonshine. Ooh. No. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's just not, me fucked that's up not on, quite the, it. on the kids' <laughs> speech and drama there. festival circuit, <laughs> circa 2005. <laughs> uh, the pressure's got to me, Ma. <laughs> I mean, I'm in. If that's the treatment, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. in. If anyone is looking for entertainment in next year's spring, summer, I do recommend children's speech and drama festivals. Um, wow. You can spend an afternoon watching 13 year olds adults pretend should just to be go to Lady those. Macbeth. Yeah, yeah. I don't. It's brilliant. I'm into that. I don't think adults well, should just go to the... support the arts. I don't think they should just go to children's. There's adults there. They're the judges. <laughs> Okay. Judge the children. I'd love to be a judge. On <laughs> yeah, you'd be right. amazing at that. Them now. Wow. She's wow. on the circuit. Yeah, and great. made it. Shout out She's made Bauer. it. And shout out to everyone who's on that circuit now. Good be- luck for I next am. season. I'm sure they're listening. I hope you make it to Bristol. Be it's forward. The big one. <laughs> 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 like Bristol, I, said, I hope you make it to Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> is it like Daytona Beach for cheer it really um, is <laughs> Bristol um, before we go to our listener problem um, what, what what date is this coming out Andrew uh, second. of December November November, November. Lovely. <laughs> you just lost a month then. I know I read it okay but we're getting into we are getting into the sort of murky icky don't, don't part of winter buying their Christmas sure. presents okay fine. no oh my god do it on your own time I'm finished um, <laughs> but <Wow>. no <laughs> What's your start sign? Leo. What's your start sign? Aries. And you? Virgo. Interesting. I don't what, know what any of them What's Virgo? Is that air? Virgo is earth. Ooh, I see that. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. <laughs> like the dark. Oh my God. No, like not Mother Earth. Yeah. Well, Grounded. Or Mother Dirt. <laughs> or like the least important characters in Elemental. That's sure. how I see it. Sure. Have you seen Elemental yet? No, Have you I'm seen not. No, no. It's um, really do watch it. Is it animated? Yeah, it's a new Disney Pixar film. It's not for me. Same. You don't watch animated stuff? No. Not really. Not even like Arthur or Yvonne of the Yukon. <laughs> <laughs> Yvonne of the Yukon. I did used to, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously yeah. Arthur. Not Arthur, anymore. Arthur I don't watch it anymore either. I don't watch anymore either. <laughs> Having fun. <laughs> Isn't hard when you've got a <laughs> library card. <laughs> what? Oh my Jekyll, god! Jekyll, 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 Jekyll. Come on, yeah. come on. <laughs> Do you boys remember that? Or are you too young? No idea what you're talking you don't about. Arthur. No, I'm so sorry. They're really little. Wait, was it like wow. the mouse guy? He's an aardvark. Yeah, he's an aardvark. Yeah. Oh, best friend was a bunny. Hey, what a wonderful day. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I do know this, yeah. Day. It only finished recently. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. very sad. It had a gay wedding on it. Very. Were you good at Lolly? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> obviously, we, why, why end it? We all grew up thinking we'd be on it. Exactly. We all thought we'd voice <laughs> how we got into it. There was an episode when we were Is growing up. Is that your up. origin story for the biz? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just wanted to be on an episode of Arthur. Yeah. Hey, DW. DW was and is an icon. Wow. R.I.P. I, I used to watch Doug. Did you watch Doug? Of course. Oh, and I loved Patty Mayonnaise. And yes. now I'm dating someone who looks exactly like her. Finally! Wow. Finally! Don't you see it? Don't you see it? A hundred percent. Yeah, it's wild. And she's never seen it, so I'm always like, oh, Patty. Wow. I know, it's wild. I never watched um, Hey Arnold? Yes. I am. Yeah. Helga. Yeah. You're not Helga. She is. I am. My girlfriend calls me Helga all the time. I, I am Helga. I'm like, I love the hamster so much, I'm going to crush its head. You know, that wow. kind of. Wow. And, and the love seeking, like you will, yeah. the romance is high. Secret wow. trying, very mean in person. Mm. Okay, interesting. Yeah. It's... And your pinky and the brain combined. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. And you? Where am I? Um, I think I like to think that I'm Spinelli, but I'm not Spinelli. Oh my God! What no a one's reset Spinelli. Shout out! No one's Spinelli. Everyone thinks that this. Yeah, Spinelli. I guess. I'm that. Gretchen, I guess. No. No. Thanks, guys. I'm TJ. That's a no, show, not. but not really. What's the one? Is it like Hey Ginger? And she had a friend who was the little seal girl. Um, <laughs> hello. Wild Thornberries. <laughs> or was that something else? No, but Wild Thornberries <gasps> is a slime. Oh my God! I forgot I, Wild the, Thornberries. Maybe I'm um, what's Debbie, her name? Eliza. Eliza. Donnie, I know all their names. I, I like the Eliza for you. <laughs> I genuinely I do. Really, I'm Donnie. I like Eliza I've got for a you. Moon. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the dad called? Nigel Thorne. No, Nigel. Nigel. Nigel and Marianne. Oh my God. I'm Nigel and Marianne. <laughs> who was the dad? Who was Chucky's dad in Rugrats? Oh, Chad. Chad. Oh. I don't know. I should not Chad's know this. Chad's my type, Susie, I think. Su- I'm Susie from Rugrats. Oh, Susie. 100%. I'm Did Susie. you hear the theory okay. about Rugrats? No. Oh no, I hate this, I hate this, I oh, hate no. this. Oh no, they're adults. So Susie wrote it. 
and the only person that exists in it is Angelica because Angelica is the only one that can talk to Susie and the babies and the adults. And Susie wrote about friend Angelica who had schizophrenia from all the babies that died that she grew up playing with. And then Susie came into her life and wrote it as an adult looking back on her very unwell friend. That's the truth. Mm-hmm. What, the voice? No, it's a theory, but I wanted to see how that would work out. <laughs> <laughs> well, we stopped breathing. If you want to go real dark, <laughs> look up Rugrats um, fan <laughs> theories. Because, like, how does Angelica communicate both ways? And it's like, it's about, like, and then Susie comes but the babies the can mix. talk. I thought it was a simple But Susie as that. doesn't talk <laughs> with the babies, but she goes along with everything Angelica says and pretends because she wants her friend to feel wow. loved and included. And then it's written from Susie's perspective as an adult. That's why Susie is able to write the babies. And the I'll adult. bet you they but have... But is Angelica related to any of the babies? She's a cousin of Tommy, I Maybe think. Maybe that's the connection. But Tommy died. Oh Tommy my God, died. why do you keep saying what? it? Stop saying Tommy it. Tommy died. Stop saying it. In, in Like, I can't go through the whole, <laughs> like, how they all died, but all of them died. I'll bet you anything. Ch- uh, Chucky actually died in the car crash with his mum. They're all ghosts. No. Angelica still plays uh... for them. Hello? But then... <laughs> <laughs> so are the parents Lolly! dead as well? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> are the parents dead as No, well? they're grieving. Christ. So they're imagining... So it's like 222, a ghost story. Oh my is God, what, what a slam of reference. Well, actually, that is a spoiler. Yeah. Okay, we've oh. been out for like three oh, yeah, yeah. Have you, have you seen that yet? yet? I've seen it, yeah. I know, I was going to say, have you been in that yet? Oh, have I been in it yet? Um, no. Oh, well, you must. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Any minute now. I'm going to go and hang around there. Um, yeah. I want you to be yeah. in Blue Remembered Hills at the National Theatre. Oh, my God. Oh my God We've got to bring that back. An all-female Blue Remembered Hills. <gasps> yes. Yeah. The Olivier stage. <laughs> <laughs> the Olivier. Because it's got to be in the round. It's, it's got to be, be in the, in the round. round. It's got to be it's in the round. It's got to be. And I'm sorry, if I'm going to, if I'm doing a show in the round, the Olivier, please. Yeah, that's a wonderful open. drum circle. Gorgeous. I used to know the guy that was in charge of the drums. Though. Miss Hennessy wow. could direct. Oh, Anne would be furious. Why? If Miss Hennessy directs, I feel they like. They can co direct. Anne doesn't, Anne doesn't share. Sure. No, absolutely. <laughs> Miss Hennessy right can there. produce. Maybe How about Sir Gorgeous. Nicholas Heitner and Miss Hennessy together? Wonderful. Yeah. 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 Wonderful. It's, good always, always it's good to have a name. It's good to have a name. It's good to have a name. Nicholas needs a name with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness wait we what? should actually do that I'm actually excited now <laughs> do you want to do a play at the National with you guys I'd love to yeah, yeah that would be nice I you, think it genuinely you works. know it ends up with Lolly in a like what a, pa- thank you so much a paddling pool and we are Annie and I don't fucking... think there's a paddling pool in Blue Room and Tales but you know how it ends up <laughs> but it's gonna <laughs> end up I'm alright yeah. come on <laughs> it's a bit of banter it's having a bit of banter kids did die though in the, in the fictional oh stuff and can, the Rugrats that cannot be <laughs> <laughs> oh they're dying all the time this can't be the theme of the show I wonder what the fan theories on ghosts are oh there's loads yeah there, there are so many I saw a really funny tweet the other day that said um, it w- I wasn't tagged. I was searching BBC Ghosts to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it just said Kitty from BBC Ghosts um, has a personality disorder, which I thought was quite funny. Um, which one? Or just general? Um, I think she just has just has all of them. <laughs> yeah, <though. laughs> she's got a lot going on. That girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's yeah. an optimist. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of theories about. There's a lot of people saying Kitty's a lesbian. Actually, Ooh. interesting. Do you think that that was already in the character, or that you found it during the show? I don't think she is a lesbian, unfortunately. Actually, maybe don't put that in because people people get really crazy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. actually, yeah. I've uh, already can- I'm I'm <laughs> cancelling my subscription to the BBC. Yeah. Um, um, I think she's I think she's just really straight because she's just yeah, so but, in that work like balls and yeah you know, yeah yeah men and stuff. She fancies a lot of boys, doesn't she? She fancies a lot of boys. She just wants to go to little balls and have. The thing is, when you lie in bed at night, even when you're a ghost, whatever you're frigging to that's in your mind. You can't control it. Thank you know you. what I mean? Thank you. And yeah. whatever Kitty's getting off on, it's probably balloons, realistically. Yeah. yeah but yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. she yeah. is losing her mind to, let her be. It exactly. feels like she might like cake sitting as well. She has that quality. Like a cake sitting kink. Mm. That's quite sick, actually. I never I'll got... tweet about it later. We don't have time. <laughs> we don't have time. I never um, got the cake sitting one. Nor I. Waste of a cake. Yeah. Um, Lolly. Yeah. How are you at giving advice? Really good, actually. And what kind of advice giver do you see yourself as? What are the different types? Well, um, I tell the person exactly what I think they want to hear. Okay. And that's not really advice. That is um, 
me wanting to feel good. Sure. And Helen um, catastrophizes on their behalf. Wow. Such that, um, they sought advice and now they have bigger problems. The world okay. Is ending, the world is ending. Let's do it. And I think I'm very level headed. I think yeah, all yeah. of us got five years left on this planet if David Attenborough is correct. Whoa. So let's fucking let's watch it burn. Okay, well um, <laughs> that can be part of the play. Um, Andrew, we um, have a problem mm-hmm. from a listener. Yes, who yeah. is it? Multiple, um, but we'll go Multiple. for this one. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone very troubled at the moment. Actually, <laughs> this is, I think this is our first ever problem co-authored mm. wow. um, by a, a a couple, M and P. Hi M and P. Hi M and P. Um, an MP. Crazy. <laughs> A member of parliament. Do you have that in Ireland or no? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a president. I know that. Yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. No, um, mm. but I'm please gay. stop. Okay. <laughs> I beg you to stop. <laughs> My partner and I are both writing this. While we both love you equally, it is only I, brackets female 18, who is a Patreon member. So if love was a competition, I would win. Mm. Nice. Fabulous. Really manipulative, but really Fabulous. brilliant. Mm. Uh, we are currently um, contenting with the prospect of. Wait, a who is the partner? What is their age? And do we know anything else about them? Um, we don't know. Okay. I'm going to assume 60, female, female. No! <laughs> art teacher, no. art teacher. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh art teacher, God. drama teacher, oh. 60, Weymouth. Stop it. Oh, like Weymouth. <laughs> Weymouth. Yeah. That yeah. was rogue. Um, We're both called Linda. <laughs> 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 so tired. We never learn our lesson being silly. This could be a very traumatic story. I know. I yeah. always yeah. do this. Yeah, it's like true. really, really fun, and then it's gonna be fucking. It's gonna be like a paddling pool drama. Yeah. No, no, it, it, it's fairly light. Um, fairly. We we'll are be the deciders of that, Andrew. Go uh, on. They're currently contenting with the prospect of a long distance relationship and are not sure how to approach it. For the past four years, we've been in very close proximity, having attended the same high school. Um, so it's difficult to imagine being apart. The advice thus far has been to quit while we, we're ahead. But neither of us can see a, long, a future, brackets long-term geriatric type, with anyone else. We've canvassed open relationship stuff and whatnot, brackets, by the way, thoughts, question mark. Um, we know how young we are and how naive we sound, but have you ever done long distance successfully? How silly are we on a scale of one to ten? Any and all advice, greatly appreciated. Um, big uh, cheers, big ears, all our love, M and P. Cheers, big ears. Yeah, wow. They tried yeah. something. They tried you. What you have never tried something when you were young? Whoa. Okay, you are. Fucking, Just say yeah. same goes long nose and let them have it. Same goes long nose. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, Wowzers. I'm sorry, but we have to just <laughs> come on. Okay. Advice, please. Um, <laughs> are you feeling comfortable? How young are they? they? <laughs> Uh, well, I guess 18. they're both 18. And if they've been to the same high school, I imagine they've been they together since they were 14. Yeah. And do we know what the distance is going to be? Are we talking like mm. a fleet to older shot or are we talking <laughs> like a. That's not long distance for love. <laughs> I'm going to guess we're talking um, two different UK based universities. They've mm-hmm. been together since they were 14. They're now 18. So let's catastrophize this. Let's do the Outer Whoa, Hebrides to, to um, Falmouth. Let's do sure. St. Saint, Saint Andrews and. Falmouth. I think sure. it can't be that far because I think you'd know this is never going to work. Yeah. I think it's it's probably a bit too close, so you're hoping it's gonna work. Yeah. There's ways of making it perfect. Because people always say long distance can't work, but then you watch all those war films and they all come back and they're mm. with the woman and they've it's been in sometimes they're with the brother ages. What's that when film? When do they get with the brother? The girl gets with the brother. What's the film where she gets with the brother? Because she thinks the husband's dead. No, and then he comes back. Before you'd be gutted, wouldn't Her yeah. brother or his? She gets with his brother. What relief. Yeah. She, yeah. she thinks he's been like Because that'd dead be real war. desperate yeah. times if yeah. you were getting with your Oh, own. how embarrassing when he but comes back. But why is back. the brother not at the war? That's the, that's the big question. Maybe Does he have an injury? An injury. Mm. Yeah. Shot himself Sexy. in the foot probably for attention. Yeah, I Lot think that's the, that. that's the second. Shall we Lot circle back to M&P? Yeah. So <laughs> M&P. <laughs> um, Tell us, Lolly. My thoughts are, see how you go. Mm-hmm. Just see how you go. If you get to uni and you're like, I really fancy someone else, you can nip it in the bud. Okay. Oh, so you think like, <laughs> I think try it out. <laughs> Look around for better options. Because <laughs> you could get to uni and be like, there's no one else here. It's dead. Like, everyone's a minger. Everyone's a minger. I'm so yeah. in love. And then you'll be so excited to get back home That's in the holidays. Nice. But I think don't write it off before you get there. Mm-hmm. See how it goes. Be open. Let the wind Have take you. Have you ever done a uh, long distance relationship? Um... Uh, not f- not a long term long distance mm-hmm. relationship only for sort of three months at a time okay and that's kind yeah. of what they'd be doing 
Yeah, I guess so, yeah. But it's kind of, they're just seeing each other on holidays. It's not like they get a reprieve for a while. Yeah. Um, any advice on what makes it work? Um, I think the universe will oh sort of God. guide you. Fucking <laughs> fucking earth signs. Fucking no, no, earth no, no, signs. Listen, listen. What the are you giving advice to Lolly? Grounded. By I'm so grounded. The world moves Let by the itself. Let the universe take it there. <laughs> grounded, she said. Fucking she said she was grounded. Sorry, should we, should, we, should we get the fire signs involved? Let's fucking yeah, go. Come on. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'll go first. I genuinely believe the best way to do this is pretend that you're in a time before you would have spent all the time together, before you would have lived together before marriage. I'd say live like those people do when they're pretending they're in the Victorian era. You know, people that always dress as Victorian clothing, have everything Victorian, and just constantly send letters and get pigeons that are trained to fly between the two universities. Simple, done. You have a lovely time. And also, you've got a hobby together. You. Um... If you break up now, you will constantly wonder. You will put yeah. you will put it on a pedestal as yeah. a thing that could have worked, but for circumstance. Yeah. What you need to do is let it play out and uh, sort of rage out in a burning fire, which it probably will. Um, but I hope it doesn't. But it probably will because you're. 18. Yeah. Mm. But... But you, they all sound very level-headed. I know. I hate, which makes felt, me think... As soon as I said, like, I felt bad. But all 18-year-olds like, are now. All 18-year-olds. They're, they're so, like... I actually yeah. I got... I, I sort of... I was actually trying... See, I told him such a people pleaser. I was trying to play up to hell in there. And actually, um, <laughs> I think it could work. But I don't think it works if you... I was saying it could work. I was saying... We'll go back to Victorian times. <laughs> But live like that but and I like don't think communicate it, through posts I don't think it works if you open the relationship when you're also going long distance for the first time like you've got all this trust and then to both be apart from each other which is going to challenge that trust and add on a layer of and you can fuck whoever I think that'll that sort of does a disservice to all that you've built mm. it, and that, that you could open it up but let's try the distance first yeah Get used to that, yeah. and then you could open it up. Yeah. Um, see how you see where your body takes you. If your body's saying, you know, <laughs> I'm in love with someone else, <laughs> then Fucking then go that way. Yeah. Uh, so I honestly <laughs> grounded. This is why in general grounded. I pretend they don't exist because it's no. just exhausting. I shouldn't have told you I was Virgo. No, Everything's you should. changed. No, no, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I'm so fine. Quite handsome moon, if that helps. <laughs> Wait, so we're all saying <laughs> give it a go. Yeah. And we believe in you. Yeah. You can't predict that it's not going to work out. I and if it does, I will send you a Pizza Express voucher. <laughs> in three years. In three years. I'd say three years. Yeah. yeah. If you make it. Through. And it will only be like a tenner or something. But don't put pressure on it, you know. Yeah. yeah. Not, it's not worth it for the tenner. <laughs> yeah. Well. Well. Depends on well, how competitive well, you are. Well. well. Yeah. I am. The things I've done for a tenner, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I think either way or I'll tell you afterwards. But I yeah. think either way Bad. it'll be good. I think either way it'll be good because I think if you do make it through you'll have had opportunities to become what are you two what, <laughs> what are you two giggling about? Why am I a teacher in this mode? What are you two excuse me, Helen Bauer and Lolly Anabobe, what are you gossiping about? I don't know why I just felt silly. <laughs> sorry. Huh? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Do you have any more advice? <laughs> um love is love. Mm. Are you fucking kidding me? Would you have said that if she Love had a wins. boyfriend? <laughs> Love wins. Fuck you guys. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you forgot one. It gets better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Okay. <laughs> a meal without wine is called breakfast. <laughs> really nice. <laughs> Live, laugh, love. Yeah. Pog Mahone. <laughs> no, that's different. Isn't it not like kiss my ass? Yeah, which no. is really, really It's kind funny. of like a saying, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um, my other advice is um, I think that you should, if you are going to, I actually like the idea of letter writing, by the way, but I do think that you um, need to find ways to have dates online. Going to our online comedy shows. Outside is Don't awful. Don't sell wow. these children tickets. <laughs> Don't sell them tickets. That was very good. But if one of you were to you. buy them, I think it should be the one who's not on Patreon. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Tell you what I think is a nice online date thing. If you're listening to this, probably like stand-up comedy. 800 pound gorilla. They're like releasing loads of specials at the moment. But they do like live watch-alongs. So like the amazing, oh, you know, Harriet nice. Kemsley. We've mm. had her on before. Everyone loves Harriet Kemsley. Harriet Kemsley's special just came out on YouTube. And it's free. And you can watch it. But you can watch it live as it's going out. And that's like a a free accessible date for everyone to do long mm. distance. That's cute. Mm. Isn't like that, that nice? And yeah. there's loads of good specials on there. Or phone sex, but um, they're 18, so that gave me the creeps. Um, but I wish <laughs> you well. Can, you can do phone sex at 18. I don't think you're allowed. 
You, are you not? I don't. I don't think they make phone calls. Eighteen year olds. Yeah, I think it's just for over fifties. Okay, Andrew. Phone voice fine. notes. <laughs> sex voice notes. God <laughs> hell. Sex memes. Just <laughs> 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 We're hip. I We're hip. Them. We're down with it. <laughs> <laughs> sex gift. Sex gift. <laughs> Just wanking over a gift like a three second loop. <laughs> start it again! Start it again! Start it again! I'm getting there! Start it again! <laughs> That'd be tricky, like for a three second gift to get you there. You'd have to have that really. Yeah. Bored, yeah. Bored. Well, it depends on the. Woo. Do you know what I mean? Like if you've got like a whole thing around it and you're holding your breath. Sure. I disagree, yeah. actually. If, you, if you're in taboo. <laughs> <laughs> it's just quicker. It's just quicker. It is, when you're in a rush. Quicker. When you're in a rush. It's so yeah. much quicker. And I always Morning think of you. Morning to wake you up, evening to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>Hi, hogs, it's Catherine, and I'm here to beg you to join our Patreon because I am dignified. Um, thank you so much for listening. We really, really appreciate it. If you can't afford to support us, we totally get it. It's tough times, and we really appreciate you just telling your friends and tweeting about it or giving us a good review online would be amazing. Um, but if you can afford to, I think we have some pretty good benefits for pretty reasonable prices. I don't know why I'm selling this like it's a car. Um, but we have, for three pounds, you get early access to the episode. And you get access to our Discord, which, um, as you know, I feel to be a pervert's forum. Nonetheless, uh, it seems like the hogs enjoy it, discussing what we're up to um, and talking about the pod. So that sounds nice, um, unless you're me, in which case it sounds disconcerting. Um, weekly extras for £5, you get an extra whole episode. Um, £5 is basically a coffee in London, um, or if you live elsewhere... Probably a cinema ticket. Good God, I should need to move out of the city. The point is, um, five pounds you get weekly extras, and there's also a backlog of 105 extra episodes that you can listen to. That's pretty good value. For 10 pounds, you get um access to our live show recordings. For 20 pounds, you get a producer credit, you get merch, you get a producer mug, right, Andrew? Oh my god. Okay, so for 50 pounds, you get to be an executive producer and as you know, have full access to the lounge. And by that I mean a personalized episode for your enjoyment. Yes, there's lots of stuff. It's uh, all at patreon.com forward slash trusty hogs. All prices are exclusive of your local VAT rates. And I've also remembered we also have trusty vlogs on Patreon. So for every single level, starting at £3, you can access our zoo vlog, you can access our Edinburgh vlogs, uh, and that's available to any Patreon supporter of any level. So Is VAT localised? Uh, it is indeed, yes. So if uh, if you're in the right. UK, you're paying 20%. Uh, if you're in Saudi Arabia, I believe nothing. If you're if you're a Patreon oh, from you Saudi mean Arabia. Per, per country rather than like, it's not like Swindon's paying different VAT <laughs> to. <laughs> no, yeah, per country. It's very booked to your country. Gosh, we live, we learn. We join our Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash trusty hogs. Hey, um, Lolly, mm. before you go, um, people are going to ask, so I'm asking for them. Yeah. Where's your soup from? Ganny. Oh, of course it is. Do you want a spray of, of this? What's that? Body spray? No. Violet and bergamot body spray, Ted Baker. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you. That's lovely. Carry on with the podcast. All right. <laughs> um, thank you. Um, where, what foundation are you wearing? I'm wearing concealer, Juvia's Place concealer. All over. Uh, Juvia's Place Concealer and Under My Eyes NARS Concealer. Wow. Gorgeous. Thank you. Gorgeous. Okay. Um, Do you think the audience will have any other questions for? Bra size. um, 38G. I had a breast reduction. Did you? Yeah. When? Three years ago. Congratulations. Two years ago. Two years ago. Congrats. Can I ask what size you were before? Unquantifiable. Seriously? No way. Yeah. What, to get reduced to a G is quite Yeah. Can quite you a take bread. the weight of mine and tell me if you think I'm in, like, I think I'm on scale reduction at some point. I think I was bigger or similar. This is a double J. I was, I was K, I think I was above a K actually. Oh, how's yeah. your spinal column? Weirdly, I didn't get back pain that much. That's but good. everything else was terrible. Oh, what do you mean, do like you nipple feel- length? <laughs> <laughs> Helen, you can't yeah. just Helen. We can't be like. So what? Where's your suit from? What foundation are you wearing? So like, what was your stop, previous stop, stop, nippling? Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Favorite tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite tooth. People want to know. Two front two. Two front two. Two front two. Yeah, you both have such cute little gaps. 
so cute. Do you ever just breathe through it for entertainment? Yeah, once like, I got a hair clip stuck in it. No. Oh. Yeah. I was doing my hair and I put a clip in my No. I was doing that and then it got stuck. Oh. Yeah. Tough. Did you panic? Yeah. Because oh. I pulled oh. and it didn't come out. Oh. And I had to take it slow, but in the beginning I was just sort of yanking. Oh. Yeah. Sort of torture. Oh my God. Mm. So you recovered well from the surgery? Yeah. Good. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Whoa. You're a fucking freak. What? <laughs> You're a fucking freak, love. I've been bullied today. No, it's just that so I don't personally believe in breast reduction. <laughs> um, they're anti my community. Yes, fair enough. Um, um, you know that thirty rock quote? Like, I don't need, I don't need the meat. I just need a lift. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's good lovely. stuff, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had a nice time? I've had a time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that means yes. Loved it. I took that as a hell yes. Yeah, I've had a wonderful Great. time. Just oh too grounded gosh, to enjoy. So <laughs> um, where can people find you? Um, Instagram. Fabulous. Yeah. What's your handle? Lolly Adifope. Fabulous. They yeah. can watch ghosts. They can watch ghosts. What else can yeah. they watch? Mission Impossible? Shrill. Mission Impossible. Shrill. Shrill. Oh my God, I love Shrill so Thank much. You. It was so, so good. Much. So good. Um, so come from each side. Thank you. Sorry, I was going to see if I could get a tuck up. And you got to teeth. smooch somebody really hard, which is exciting. Um, I won't. You got to smooch somebody very hard in Shrill. Who? The, many. Yeah, but. Don't, don't, final. let's not rate oh, them. Oh, sure. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah. well, well. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Um, okay. Do you have anything to promote? Do you have any shows? Any live shows? No. Are you DJs? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> um, I. I don't have a current DJ date in the calendar. Oh, did but they cancel you because nobody could sing no, along? No, no. He said did I they could come say back any time. Did they say, oh, sorry. Can I please festival? come next time? Of course you can. When is please the do. show at the Olivier? That was talking 2025, I think. Right, we were okay. talking Gorgeous. for that. Yeah, because we've got to get rehearsals and cast. Frankenstein's coming back, you see. So we've got to wait for that. <laughs> and then um, off. Okay. John Lee Miller, Benedict Cumberbatch, yeah. Malta Allen again. And then we'll probably be straight in on the round because usually they do it in like rotation mm -hmm. shows, mm -hmm. but we're just going to see what happens. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Wow. So yeah. good to talk to you. Can't wait to have you back in with Miss Hennessy. Thank Catherine, are so you much. doing any shows? I'm going on tour and I think you know it. Wow. I would I love to hear a little bit it. more about it. <laughs> My show is called Again with Feelings and mm -hmm. I'm going to loads of places. Um, lots of places. They're all on my website, mm. katherinebohart.com. And I'd um, expect you all to be on that website right now as you mm. listen to it. I'd page. love if you were. Yeah. I sent such long newsletters. So if you've made it through those, fair play. And if not, um, don't worry about it. I say just book tickets tips. for banter. That's what mm. I would do. Mm. Book tickets yeah. for banter. Give them away as Christmas gifts to people. Lovely. All good. That'd be nice. I was just saying this for like queers who you don't know what to get. Send them to me. Great. Right? Oh, where's you know you've already bought the socks. You've already engaged in the hobby. Mm -hmm. Just send them to me. Well, if I'd you're all into woodworking them. now, buy them a plane or a saw or Those something. are really expensive. It'd oh, be cheaper they? to get oh, tickets to me. Yeah, Bohart. genuinely yeah, cheaper to come to me. Yeah, yeah, thanks so much. Um, thank you so much, Lolly Adafope. Everybody, you. round of applause. Thank you so much to our executive producers, Guy Goodman, Simon Moores, Mary Fox, Annie Chotter, Sarah Hart, Kate Deacon, Oliver Jago, Anthony Conway, and Matthew Thomas. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Out of the executive lounge, but into a VIP area nonetheless, it's our producers. Thank you so much to Richard Bicknell, L. Richard Bald, Neil Redmond, Victoria Hutchison, Harold Van Dyke, Tim and Dom, David Walker, Rachel R., Sadie Cashmore, Claire Owen Jones, Jess and Nick, Zoe, Sarah and Molly, Raya Fink, Cordelia, Rachel Page, Helen A., Tina Lindsay, Graham Marsh, Amy O'Reardon, Abby Wharf, Key Webb, Matt Sims, Luke Bright, Leah, Kate Spencer, Tristan, Liz Forge, Taz, Chloe, Becky Fox, Emily G, Dean Michael, Glennis Wood, Stephanie Catraccia, Sophie Chivers, Mark, Anthony. I always have to split those two up. Carrie Sooth and Charlie A. Thank you so much.